Hi guys, good morning. That's the way I prepare my kalalu for cooking. So I picked it, remove all those, I use a knife and strip it, remove all those little trash. Just cut it and then you strip it down and strip it down and remove all those strip. And then you pick off all those bad leaves and stuff. And what I do, I put it in a salt water. I'm gonna pour some more water. I mix the salt water and I put it in and let it stay in there for five minutes. And then I take it out. I rinse it off, run with running water. Just rinse it on and eat the pipe, run the water and it remove all those dirt and stuff because you know color is all over the place. Rinse it off properly. And then if you have a nice clean paper towel or a nice clean towel, you spread it on the counter and you cut it with your cutting board. Uh, what I do, I cut mine with my hand. I can't use cutting board cut color. So guys, when I finish cut up this, I show you. So guys, there I finish wash my color and I lay the paper towel. So I'm gonna put the paper towel, put them on the paper towel. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to dry it, let it stay there, drip a little, and then I cut it up and put it in a bag, put it in the fridge. So whenever I'm ready to cook it, I don't have to wash it. And if it has too much water and you put it in the fridge, it's going to spoil. So you let the water drip off and then you cut it up, put it in your fridge until you're ready to cook it. And guys, why I put salt water? And my, wash my vegetable with salt water to remove any insect whenever the insect is there and the salt catch them they burn so they come on top of the water and to remove germs so always wash your vegetable with a little salt water or vinegar whatever you wash your fruits with vinegar but I don't know about washing the vegetable with vinegar you wash your fruit with vinegar but I wash mine with salt and I will wash the fruit with a little vinegar water. So guys, blessing, 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 peace out. I'm going to cut up this color of fine as ever as much. Guys, I'm not really in a defined fine cutting. So I cut it how me want it, how me like it. That's the way I cut it. So I'm going to show you how I cut it up. That's my color of how I cut it up, guys. Guess what? Me can't cut it prima and proper, you know. So if you guys, if anybody want me cut color, want me, want me cut it prima and proper, guess what? Then go and do it themselves. Come in and I prima and proper things. Me go and know so when the cookie tastes nice. And it cut up. So anyway, that's how I cut up my color. And I'm going to bag it up right now. That's the paper towel. See, it take up all the water from it. Mm -hmm. Well wet. See it? Yeah, so I'm going to throw this out now and bag this up. And when I'm ready to steam it, you can cook your one pot, you can put your kalalu soup. You can do anything you want to do with your kalalu. Steam kalalu with salt fish. Anything you want to do. Make kalalu um, patty. Kalalu sandwich. Anything you want to do. Kalalu is good for you. From your don't trouble with high blood pressure. Kalalu is good for you. So guys, peace, love, joy, and happiness. You know. And that may I say. Guys, that's my steam kalalu, and I put a lot of um, garlic in it because you know those kalalu there sometimes you buy them they are hard. Your yeah, man, it is so nice. I was planning to add some sardine to it, but guess what? Mm -mm, it tastes nice. No, I no sardine. We just gonna have it with some fried breadfruit. I have a breadfruit roast and I'm gonna fry it. So this is so nice. Guess what I add to it, guys? Some ketchup. You can see it on a spoon. Yes, I add a little ketchup after I finish. I just sprinkle I just love it with the ketchup. You don't have to put it in. Maybe I'm funny doing that. I don't know. That's my taste bud. So that's my kalaloo. And I'm going to fry my breadfruit. So I show you everything when I'm ready to eat.